All right, internet, welcome back to another edition of Three Minutes of Moto. Today we are going to be discussing the second round of Pro Motocross, which was held this past weekend down in Glen Helen. A salute to all the fallen soldiers, as this was our past Memorial Day weekend. So let's get into it. 250 Moto 1, Charbonneau with the whole shot, faded pretty quick. Alex Martin got out to a good lead and stretched it out. Late in the moto, Cooper Moto found that. Late in the moto, Cooper Webb found that extra gear and dropped two seconds, two seconds off of his average lap time compared to the entire field. I know some of you don't really understand what that means, but it's damn impressive. Once Cooper got around Alex Martin, that was pretty much game over, which left us with a Cooper Webb, Alex Martin, and first time podium, Austin Forkner. Good stuff from him. I think we expect a lot more in the coming races. Next up, 250 Moto2. Jeremy Martin out to an early lead and pretty much held it the whole way. Alex Martin able to hold second place for the second moto, giving him his first overall victory. Congrats to Alex Martin, kid that really deserves it, hard worker, and is finally seeing that hard work pay off. Moving on to the 450 class, Ken Roxon with some bad luck in Moto1 had first place wrapped up pretty easily, if I do say so myself. And then a mechanical failure on his bike turned out to be a modified fork cap, something that Team RCH completely admitted to. They modified a part that apparently shouldn't have been. Dungey got handed a pretty easy win, followed by Jason Anderson, who came around Tomac just like Blake Baggett did at Hangtown in Moto1, and Tomac rounding out the top three. Moving on to Moto2, Ken Roxon, easy win. They fixed the bike, and he put on a clinic. Dungey, second place. Eli, third. Surprises in the 450 class. How about Filthy Phil, eighth place? That's the top position for the JGR 450 guys. Barsh had a really good roll towards the end of the season last year and apparently is still not 100%. Surprises in the 250 class. You know, I think everybody was expecting to see Adam C. and Cirillo a little bit more towards the front. I'm not going to say he's not doing okay, maybe building a little bit momentum, trying to make sure he's not crashing within the first few races like he's been known to do. But I wish good luck to the kid. He's always had a really good attitude, and uh, he's a hard worker, that's for sure. One of my favorites. 